yeah, we during maintenance week uh, at night, we leave all the doors open, we turn off all the lights and stuff, make sure all the doors are locked. Me and my friend Bree were the only ones here, we were delivering stuff to the fourth floor. And we got off the elevator, and everything was fine, so we go down the hall, we finish delivering. When we came back up the hall, all the lights in 411, right by the elevator were on. They weren't on when we got off, we would have noticed that. side of the corner. How old would you say? Maybe 50s, 60s, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, see, and I get that pressure in my chest almost like maybe a heart attack or something had happened. Maybe. I don't know. Um, passed away in his sleep. Did he? Okay. okay. And he was elderly. How far in age? I don't know. Okay. He was older then. Yeah. Um, he did have like white hair. That I don't know. Because I wasn't here the week that it yeah. happened, but mm -hmm. I had an experience in this room and then I told my friend and she went as white as a sheet of paper and told me she had seen them taken down. I see him almost as not really overweight, but a little, a little bit, bit heavier, heavier set. Yeah. yeah. Um, he was like, he was a really nice old man though. Really nice, and he plays a lot. Of, he yes. likes to tease the girls and play pranks. Um, mm. He's really, really nice, though. He just kind of validated an experience for me. So, okay, yeah, yeah he's really nice. He just he likes to kind of mess around with girls. And can, then, can you tell me about that a little bit? Um, <clears throat> people, some of the people out here think I'm funny just because of this experience, and even I doubted myself. But I uh, was inspecting in this room, and it was quite a few years back. And apparently this was a week after this gentleman had passed to the date or something, I don't know. And I'm cleaning the oven and I turn around to grab my equipment, which is an edger to like edge out drawers and stuff. And it wasn't the big part of the edger, it was the cylinder part of the hose mm -hmm. kept, would keep moving. Every time I turned my back, different place. I even like sat it in a spot and watched it for a good, I don't know, five minutes just because I'm like, this is like the third time. I'm like, okay, not moving. Turn so around. I can and hear him and he's saying like, a young lady like you shouldn't have to do this work. You shouldn't have to work with tools. You know what I mean? So 318 or 319, um, and I was staying over that night, hanging out on the couch watching TV, and all of a sudden the faucet on the sink like turned on, I'm like ran for a second, turned off. A couple minutes later, like turned back on, ran again, turned back off, and I just kind of sat there and stared at it for a second. And immediately gathered my shit and went and got another room. I was just um, this one definitely. Very business oriented type man. Um, he seemed kind of anal and kind of angry. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Possibly like an alcoholic as well. I don't know if he passed in here though. I just I don't know why I'm picking up on him so strong. But when I did come in, I did see a dark shadow, dark on right. in here. Yeah, yeah, he's in the closet. I see. I see him hiding in there. Can you pick up on past people experiences with um, spirits or things that may have happened to people? Yeah. The spirits in there. I get knocking. You might have heard knocking certain, you know. I feel like there's a lot of contact too. Whatever has um, been dealt with, somebody's been dealt with on a personal level. Um, so it's been more personal and more contacted. Um, yeah, I feel when I walked in here, it's almost like when somebody was in here, he got touched. And he's almost like right here, and something touching my shoulder, grab like a hand on the shoulder. The spirit or a person who had contact with the spirit? It was the spirit. It was. No, the person like who has, a black shadow. No, yeah. I know, but the grabbed a real person. Oh, grabbed a real yeah. person, yeah. So it, it, they would have felt like something on their shoulders. In fact, it was just like, trying um, to turn around and startle them. Um, um, sense. I feel like they'd smell things. Um, um, also, like a musky smell. Do you know what I mean? I think this room has that kind of, not this room, but there's another, I mean, some of these rooms sometimes yeah. get that. And sometimes it would get more, more of a, um, um, a smell like that when something had entered the room. But also with
whispers. People might have heard whispers, uh, slight little right. things. If you're sitting here watching TV, I'm almost getting the feeling like you want to check, check, turn around because it feels like somebody's watching you. Yeah. Somebody's watching you over here, and they're almost like you're constantly looking. I definitely like feel overall here, that feel like whoever's going to stay in here is definitely going to feel really uncomfortable. Um, yeah, it's almost like I'm going to the kitchen. There also feels like I'm a pacing ready, motion, ready almost as a here. walking motion. Somebody is walking back and forth, so they maybe hear footsteps of walking. That I don't know about. So what particular... Happened in here? Happened in here. Um, according to my friends Kaylee and Tove, um, first of all, they'll never stay in here again. This is the room that I was t talking about. They were held down, or they felt like they were okay. held this, down. This, this, yeah, I had, a, I had the wrong. That's why. Okay, so that's why I feel yeah, like it would be more. Yeah, contact. yeah, that was kind of weird too. So what happened with that? Uh, I don't know. Like that room's always had a weird, eerie feeling, and then we were sleeping in there one night, that's hilarious. and I was just like, I don't know if I was dreaming, but I kept visualizing. I kept waking up and seeing all these dark figures in the room, and then I woke up actually at one point like freaking out because I felt like I was getting pinned down by something and then Kaylee my girlfriend that same night was getting like the same sort of eerie feelings of like she, we felt like something was just watching us the whole time. stumbled upon like a pretty gruesome situation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't know if it's necessarily that like, like in this area or in this building, but because like I said, I'm picking up on that little girl and everyone it almost seems like I'm picking up up a ton of them, so it could be like you feel like you're being followed. I don't know if you ever get like or shadows. When Shadow I when I, when I sit back there it always seems like people walk past me. And I'm by myself. Like usually, I'll see somebody walk past me. And I turn, and say hello. Nobody's there. Just random floors. Yeah. Or I was walking the floor today. Um, or was it the fourth morning? floor? I was on the sixth floor. I was just walking down the hall, and it felt like somebody was behind me. And I turned and looked, and nobody there. So, so you went. You went into the bathroom, and you were doing your thing, and um, no door shut, and you heard a little girl. Mm-hmm. Crying. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm like, oh, that's fighting. In this area, I'm feeling um, like uh, maybe like a man had passed away um, from like a cocaine overdose or a drug overdose. Um, I do feel like party, so a party area. Heavy alcohol um, use, a lot of drugs. Yeah. Okay. Fighting. Fighting. I do feel like there was a, an attack put on a girl too, but I don't know if it's spiritually or, or if this woman was really attacked. The energy is here. Whoever, however he got, I don't know if he went in the house. Whatever he went in the house. However, this thing got in there is not good. It's really not good. And um, he, I can hear him now. He's like growling and mocking me and everything. We have captured something like that um, that I didn't tell you about. The same week we caught 701's answer. And this is the room that when we first did the first EVP session, um, people were walking by, my sister and this other girl were getting creeped out because they could keep shadows or something just kept yeah. going past. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how he got in there, but it's been. Um, can I say what happened? Yeah, yeah, please. Um, a younger man about. I don't know how old he was, mid-20s, I would probably say. In general, he was alone or not. We probably he came out here for a week of drink, weekend of drinking. Like, huge handles. We're not talking about the bottles. Like, several different bottles. He passed away. He um, aspirated on his vomit. So he rolled off the couch. And that was in this one? In this room. Was it this one? Okay, I thought okay. it was a different room. Okay. Because we, the thing is, that we were picking up on that. I picked up on a... Um, by alcohol and stuff like that. He said you couldn't breathe. Yeah, yeah. I
I, now that you say that, I do know how that thing got in there. Because it's not just a combination of his thing, but he did something really bad. And that's why he did this. Um, like he wasn't able to control his temper or his sexual urge, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When he was on drugs or drinking. So he did something really, really, really bad. And he was even with it. So he took his own life. But the thing that has been with him because of that is also yeah. stuck in it. Maybe that ties into your whole rape. Yeah. yeah. We also caught um, the second time, we, we've only done this room twice, because the second time we did this room creeped us out, be, beyond creeped out. That night, the building just felt not the same. And I've been here 17 years. And Women especially will feel really uncomfortable in here. And um, if it, it, yes. around, also, I'll tell you right now, for some reason, Religious issues, people get a lot of reaction if you use religious propagation. For some reason, it's very, the start thing is like really bad. You know what was weird when, um, I don't know if this has anything to do with anything, but the day that I had to let his father in and he got a priest with him. And I don't know if that was for comfort or what, but he had, yeah, it was really, I just, that stuck out of my mind. 